So real quick information on the difference between homing switches and limit switches. Uh, homing switches tells the machine where your zero zero is. So in my case, it's right where this is positioned. The switch here and the switch here are limit switches. Those will tell the machine, hey, you've gone too far, shut down. So for each axis, I have two switches. You got your homing switches, which are these two, and you got your limit switches, which are these two. You got your Y homing switch and your X homing switch. And basically you can use that to reference your zero zero in mock. So homing switches, they actually have to be wired separately. So I need two wires to here, two wires to here, and two wires to the Z axis once I get that switch mounted. So with limit switches, they need to be daisy chained together, meaning at the control box, you only have two wires. But in my case, I have four switches. Basically, you loop one end of those two leads to one switch on one end of the circuit. And on the other end, your other switch, your last switch, will have the other conductor. So these wires right here are actually the three limit switches. Uh, these are gonna get daisy chained together, meaning from the first switch, which is gonna be the A axis limit switch, I'm going to connect this straight to the switch on the green wire. And then the next switch is gonna be this guy, which is the Y axis. I'm gonna connect the green wire to the yellow wire. The x-axis is going to be green wire to the yellow wire and finally then it's going to be yellow and green down to the controller down here if that makes sense all right first switch on the a-axis i'm going to go green to the green that's running down the e-chain
All right, the yellow from the A-axis limit switch was going to go to the green of the Y-axis. Okay, so the yellow from the Y limit switch goes to the green of the X limit switch. And the yellow from the X axis, this guy, is going to go to the yellow to the wire heading down to the control box. There we go. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll work. So basically what this does is if one of these limit switches activates, then the machine will just stop. I got sick of breaking off taps. So one of these holes are threaded and the other, the other hole is just the through hole from the back.
All right, so this is what I got going on. All my wiring is correct, and I checked that inside the box. Did the old continuity test and everything. It all worked. Hooked it all up. I get into the mock software down here, and it says when I hit the Y home switch, it's actually activating the light for the arc okay and also my limit switches aren't activating on the software so i don't know what's going on i did a quick test down there in the box because it actually gives you little lights for when switches are activated Everything seems to be working. So I don't know what's going on. I got a feeling that the Y home switch is just, uh, it's looking at the wrong pins on the parallel port. But I gotta ask, you know, somebody smarter than me. But it's pretty much built. Got the torch in there too. Look at that, pretty. Pretty much what it's gonna look like. Minus my uh, temporary little uh, ramps here. These are for the home switches. So as it rolls up to it, it just clicks it. That'll make it so that torch is about an inch inside the frame when it, when it activates. So this is the home switch. I'll have something similar down on the other end for the limits, but I wanted I wanted to make these out of wood just to see, you know, hey, does it work? Because otherwise, if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to figure out another way to mount these switches so they will work. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching.